Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got some more TA for you guys. So, jumping into this here, we're going to see what we can match up into. It's been a while since I've played RTA, honestly, with all the news and stuff. Coming out with E7's anniversary, which, by the way, I hope you guys are enjoying. I uh, had to make a lot of videos to cover things for newer players or returning players who want to get caught up with the game and uh, what's been going on, right? So, let's go ahead and ban ML Politis and ML Luna here, which my opponent also does, unfortunately. Uh, but that does leave Knockwall on the table. Don't know how I feel about that. Alright, so let's see what my opponent has in store for us in this one. I did decay, so um, thankfully not decay out of Master. But yeah, let's see. Ooh, Abigail. Alright, Abigail getting picked up here. Uh, what do we want to do into an Abigail? That's a really weird first pick, right? It's kind of leaving me a little iffy. Don't know how to feel about this. Because she's going to protect someone in the back line. There's a lot of units he can protect in the back line. And he's probably going to ban protect the one he wants to pick. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be like a BBK, honestly. Which makes this even worse for me. Because uh, I don't know what would really be used here to kind of counteract a BBK. I guess we can just first pick like a knock wall. Let's just kind of throw stuff. Let's just kind of throw stuff at my opponent that allows me to set up for a potential BBK. Frida gives me a free soul burn, right? So we can go ahead and utilize her here. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, if he picks BBK, we can like bam protect a Briar Witch, and then we can soul burn Briar Witch somehow and uh, attack into the BBK. Oh, you know who I really want to use? Ah, oh, so he's going to use Christy, yeah. So we're going to really need some soul burns here. Uh, I really do want to use... Um, Spectre Tenebria, because I think she'll be really, really fun. Uh, except with this, Bunny Dom Bam Protect makes me kind of second guess that, though. Would we want to use Selene? Is Selene useful here? I think Briar Witch is the most useful right now as a Bam Protect unit. He can't stop the Briar Witch from doing anything here. And uh, Bunny Dom usually is built faster than my Briar Witches, so I should go after the Bunny Dom, unless it's for some reason a really slow one. If it's a slow bunny dom, we can try... Well, let's assume that's a faster one. So what would we want? What's the strong DPS that he's going to use there? Ooh, Sylvan Sage seems okay. Potentially okay. I don't want to say she is okay. Potentially okay. If I defense break his entire team, Sylvan Sage can come and actually clean up really easily. So we'll go for Sylvan Sage Vivian. Yeah, see, there we go. I, I kind of expected a BBK here. And uh, I think we're going to have to just end with a Mage. That way we have a guaranteed Soulburn for Briar Witch somewhere in the draft. So we'll just have to pick a Mage with Book. I think Festive... Uh, I don't know about Festive Eda, actually. Festive Eda, maybe not. Ooh, M Melissa? Wait, what? Oh, that's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy. Um, who do I want to bring into this? Who is Book? Festive Eda has Book, but I really want to bring Festive Eda, a fairy tale to Nibria. I guess we can bring a fairy tale. Oh, wait, then we have no damage besides. Ooh. Then we have no damage. Uh, let's bring Architect Laika. Let's do something like this. We could ban BBK. He's gonna have- oh, he's gonna do an Immortal Melissa team. Oh, I see, I see. It might be o this might be okay. If I ban BBK, because one of these two is gonna be Immortal, right? Or do I need to ban BBK? Ideally, we ban BBK, because then we don't have to deal with- Yeah, yeah, I, I think we do this. He's gonna ban Frida. Okay. That is actually fine, because we're going to Soul Burn the Briar Witch. Yeah, I'm going to Soul Burn the Briar Witch. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let's see what happens. Bunny Dom, does she go first? She does not go first. Very cool. Very cool. We can uh, we can actually seal the... Uh, we can actually seal the Abigail. Could seal the Abigail. So there's no... Um, there's no immortality for the back line. 
Could I just S3 here? Honestly, could we just try an S3? I'm not gonna S2 because I don't want to soul burn it. Um, yes, we could just kill the Melissa. Very nice. No immortality because we sealed. I mean, there you go. <laughs> All this meticulous planning for nothing. Mostly, I think my opponent screwed up. They should not have picked the Bunny Dumb in the Ban Protect slot. They kind of saw the knock and freaked out. So it's a good thing I picked her early. Uh, they should have just went with their, you know, plan. Put BBK in the ban protection slot. They would have been much better off. Because um, Knockwall was not my ban protect unit. He could have banned Knockwall if he really wanted to. But again, that Knockwall Frida, he committed even though he saw what I was picking, right? I kind of predicted what he was going to have in his draft. So this is why it's also really nice to just kind of broaden your horizons, right? And watch what other people do. I've lost a BBK draft several times in the past few weeks. That's why I'm kind of picking up on their patterns. And learning those patterns and behaviors of the people that are drafting these types of teams uh, can help you better counter them in the future. Because a lot of these people kind of fall into a pattern when it comes to their drafts, right? When I saw the Abigail, when I saw the Christy, I just knew BBK was coming, even though she was picked later in draft. Um, Imperian Ilanov, no DDR, no Ron. Ooh, he doesn't want the Ron defense breaking, right? Defense breaks on uh, Imperian Ilanov teams are still really, really strong. She can't stop those. Uh, DDR makes sense. They don't want to get injury down, but they're playing an injury unit themselves. Again, I think Knockwall is still a pretty strong option here. Why don't we just first pick Knockwall? I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? Uh, Lyo wouldn't really do all too much here, though. What I ooh, but you know what? Let's pick. You know what? Why not be degenerate? Let's go Knockwall Lyo together. I almost never pick this together, but it is preseason, so it's nice to experiment with things like this every once in a while. Uh, against the Empyrean Elenov, Lyra's not going to really do all that much damage with her S3, but we do have turn cycle, we do have dual attacks, I think she brings quite a bit of utility regardless, uh, which is why when I pick Elenov, people still pick Lyra into me. It makes sense. Um, again, we still want to pick Spectre Tenebri if possible, because I really want to test her out on her EE, I think that'll be really fun. So, we'll see if uh, we can ban protect her, maybe? I don't know. She mines a lifesteal tanky build, I might just need to draft her with some mitigation, and we'll hopefully be okay. Navy Captain Landy. Do I really want to fight against a Navy Captain Landy? Um, Imperial Illinov is typically not a damage mitigation artifact, which is a good thing. He's going for Last Piece Karin. All right. So, he's going to dispel the stealth from Knockwall, and then he's going to come in and try to kill, right? So, that seems okay. I guess what we can do is uh, we can go for something like Hmm, do we go Spectre here? Is this a Spectre game? We could go Zeo, actually. Zeo would be able to push back the uh, last piece, Corin. I don't know about Spectre in this team, though. Zeo would actually allow us to do that, because she doesn't start with stealth or anything. Um, maybe Captain Landy is kind of difficult to deal with right now. I guess we can go for... What's the good into this team? Bologna? Like, a. Uh... You just go ML Bologna, right? It's the only way to reliably deal with the Landy right now. I guess we can also go Ravi. Because Ravi with Laya together should be able to dual attack, hopefully, into this um, into this Landy. And then we'll be okay. But the Zeo locked in basically shuts down this last piece, Karin. That'd be quite nice. Alright, and what else do we have here? What else do we have... Bunny Dom. Bunny Dom doesn't stop anything. I mean, again, the knock wall... It stops the S3, but my main thing with Knockwall is sealing. If I can seal my opponent, I'm in a very good position. Or I'm in a very good position if I can seal. Um, at this rate, honestly, I'm kind of looking to ban the Navy Captain Landy out of these four. Let's see what their last pick is. If their last pick isn't anything super great, we could ban Bunny Dom and try to control this team a little bit too. We can throw out something else uh, into this Navy Captain Landy. He's going to pick Rowana. Okay, if he picks Rowana... If he picks Rowana, um... What could we go here? I kind of want to say Ravi, right? I kind of want to say Ravi here, honestly. I think Ravi will be qu quite good. Let's go with Ravi. I could ban the, uh, the Landy. I think that could work. 
Yeah, I think that could work, because if we have Knock Wall, we can seal his team, right? Oh, he's banning the Ravi. Wait a minute. He's letting me have Knock Wall, but he picks Rowana. That's a little strange to me, mostly because um, if I seal the Rowana, my extra attacks can do whatever it wants to do, right? So let's go for it. Let's see what we got. Okay, so starting this off, we're going to go Zeo into the uh, last piece, Corinne. Got to make sure she doesn't take her turn. So let's go straight to her, and then when Nakul goes, it's fine. Okay, good. Um, the Empyrean Ilanov actually preventing Zeo from doing too much damage there. I could go for an S1 and try to push back even more. I think that's the play. Let's just push back even more. Nice. Decrease combat readiness. Very good. Uh, let's go for a dual attack, please. Nice. Good job, Alona. That's the, that's who I was looking for. If I dual attacked with Zeo, I think I still would have killed. His S1 would probably deal quite a bit of damage as well. Uh, but yeah, now it's just Ilona versus this whole team. I don't know. He has cleansing. He has Ilanov's S3, he has Bunny Dom's S3. I don't know what artifact Rowana's on, but she might be able to cleanse. Or if she's on Stella Harper or something like that. It's going straight for the knock wall, which is understandable, that's fine. We shall go for the um we shall go for the Bunny Dom next, I think. If we kill Bunny Dom, I think it'll be okay, because then we can start relying on Bologna's like uh, extra attacks, Lion's dual attacks, and they'll be so much more consistent on our side. Knockwall's pose when she's asleep is actually kind of cool. Um, I, I really rarely ever see her put to sleep, but I like that. Okay, so he has a revive buff. Got it. I am going to just S3 here. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, and then I guess what I can do here is... Um, we could push up the team. Right? Push up the team. Now, unfortunately, Zeo is going to dual attack. He is going to heal a little bit here, but we're going to go for the Bunny Dom. Zeo's extra attack actually doesn't do that much because of Ilanov. All right, there we go. And I can go ahead and seal the Bunny Dom here. Very nice seal. Very nice. So he's already kind of used his um, Empyrean Ilanov's cleanse. Now, Bunny Dom hasn't used hers, right? It's okay. Okay, maybe it's not okay. She's gonna heal. Ooh, I didn't like that. Uh, he can try to... Actually, he did cleanse. Oh, shoot, he's on Stella Harpa? Oh, no, he's popping his S3 anyway. He just wants to heal here. He knows we're focusing on the bunny down hard. Ilona's about to take another turn, too. Not really great for us, but... Okay, he's gonna kill the Knockwall, which is fine. I think Knockwall's kinda done her job here. Uh, we will be able to dual attack, please, Bologna. Very nice. Getting Knockwall out actually helps us out here, because it increases the chance that I dual attack with Bologna, right? It's a 50-50 shot now. So we can go ahead and just finish off the Bunny Dom. Beautiful. And now Zeo gets to go. We'll just go for the... We'll go for the Ilana. Breaker Barrier. Alright, good stuff. And now that Rowana, there's only two units on his side, when I do my extra attack with Bologna, he's actually not going to be healing as much. That's why I'm trying to get rid of the squishier units first. Okay, so yeah, look at that. Barely any heals, right? Hardly able to keep up with the damage that I'm doing, uh, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. He has souls to soul burn, and he's going to go into Laia, probably for the injury. He's going to detonate it as well. Okay, that's not terrible, though. That's not terrible. Um... I could soul burn this. I kind of have to if I want my dual attacks back. Just might as well soul burn. I have the souls anyway. I can uh, soul burn my Bologna later too. But yeah, see, defense penetration resistance is uh, helping keep him alive. It's fine though. It's fine. Does this kill? It does not. Very close. Uh, the Rowana's healing is basically keeping this Ilanov alive here. But it's fine by me. Focusing down the lie at this point really doesn't matter because Bologna is my ace now. I, I can kill the Ilanov, I'm pretty sure, with Bologna's next turn. And we'll be just fine. This actually, ooh, it's only a 21k HP Ilanov. Right, I actually didn't know this guy's from a pretty good guild over in Europe there. So very nice. Getting those epic dash pass um, arena rewards as well. I don't know if mock battles actually, or not mock battles, um, draft arena counts. I'm pretty sure it doesn't count as arena. I don't know. Um, it's in the name, right? Draft Arena? I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you guys have tried it, let me know, but Draft Arena is closed for me right now. I can't even try if I wanted to. Alright, let's jump into another one here. 
Um, yeah, Knockwell's been proven to be pretty good. Let's see if, uh, again, we can sneak Spectre Tenebria in here. Kind of, I feel like even though she got that EE, it's just a very difficult meta to kind of draft her in. There's a lot of things that can kind of shut her down. Now, my hope is that with this EE, she can ramp up her attack and defense pretty quickly. And if she ramps up that defense pretty quick, then hopefully she can stay alive better. Hopefully. That's, that's again, the, the hope, the wish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, ooh, no, ba no, no, para, no bellion. All right, what's his first pick gonna be? Uh, Dragon Bride Senya. I guess that's fine. We can just go for the. Should we go Lion Aqual again? That's kind of disgusting, isn't it? But no, nothing's stopping me from doing it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Lion Aqual. Um, he can pick. Oh, never mind. He's gonna go Fire Politis, he's gonna go Ron. Alright, I see, I see. But he ban protected Ron, but he doesn't have Zeo. We're just gonna pick Zeo here. We're gonna pick Zeo. And he can't stop me. So I can pick uh, Wrecker and Rwanda. Oh no, Wrecker and Rwanda's gonna get stopped by Politis. Uh, what can I do with Zeo? What's a good follow up here? If I go with Zeo. Zeo takes the turn. Push back the Ron. Don't know how fast his follow-up units are going to be, though. Politis would... Counter proc line. Should we proc line heart with Politis? Hmm. Kind of rough, isn't it? Navy Captain Landy could actually work here, now that I think about it. Navy Captain Landy could certainly work here. Let's throw her in the draft. I know, we're just picking, like... <laughs> we're picking some pretty degenerate stuff, but... I'm having a good time right now. It's been it's been a while since I played RTA, right? It's been um, today's Tuesday as I'm filming it. Um, when did that last play? Friday? Oh man, it's probably the longest I've gone without RTA. Honestly, it's been a good little uh, good little break. My mental health is looking good. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Ed. Don't know about Ed. ML Shoe. Don't know about ML Shoe either. We can be a pretty good... Hmm. Midnight Gala Lilius. Don't really like Gala. She's probably going to try to one-shot the Laya. Don't really like the Gala there. He's put... Okay, he's picking a lot of units that could potentially CR push. I see what he's doing. Because uh, if I push back the Ron, he still has a chance to use other units, right? So I could go for like a Fairy Tale Tenebria here. I think she, she might be funny. Yeah, Fairy Tale might be funny. Let's go for a fairy tale Tenebria, why not? Uh, let's go for this. We banned the Gala. Oh, we could ban Gala. I mean, we have Knockwall. Oh, this looks like such a fun team, guys. My team looks. I give myself a pat on the back right now because my team looks great. Uh, I think we ban Gala just in case. Oh, he bans Knockwall. Okay, see? Good. Just in case, right? We did the right thing. Because fairy tale should be able to hit everybody else. She just won't be able to hit Gala because she's Earth. Uh, everybody else should fall victim to this, though. Zeo. Zeo's gonna be great. We have Navy Captain Landy, Laya for dual attacks. I think we are just fine. Alright, we should be going first here. I don't think Fire Politis is really, like, 300 speed material. Oh yeah, there we go. Very nice. So I push back this Ron. I think we'll be a-okay. Um, I hope I just push back in silence. Oh, shoot! Oh! That's not- Oh my god, that's not good. Oh wow, he actually gets to take a turn here. I hope he's not on RNL. If he is. Please, no. Oh, he's on Symbol of Unity. Okay, thank god he's on Symbol of Unity. Uh, let's go for an S3. We should be able to provoke everybody here. And I know Senya can probably cleanse because we're hitting the Ron. Ron's in the back. That's fine. As long as, long as the Blood Moon Haze doesn't get that uh, buff, right? As long as he has unbuffable, we are A okay. So, at this point, um, I could try to kill the Ron before he comes back and, and kills us. Okay, provoke, nice. Good redirect provoke there. Okay, oh, nice counterattack too. Do we salvo? Doesn't look like it. Nice, good extra attack. Good defense break. Ooh, on the haste as well, that's really good. Laya has sweet miracle, so I think we're okay for now. It's a lot of damage coming in though. Penetrates defense. Hopefully Zeo survives. Oh, it's a, oh, 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 that's a lot of damage! Oh my god. Holy! 
<laughs> that is terrifying, guys. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I, I think it's over. I think it's pretty much over. Um, I have all these souls and no way to use them. I don't think Zio can kill. I hope he does. Oh, he does. Okay. Ooh. I don't think so. He's dead. Zio's dead here to 3F, right? Or whatever. Oh, the protection. Yeah. And then and then the Politus comes in. Wow. And I was so proud of my team too. Oh, that just sucks. Um, that kind of sucks big time. I wonder if we would have been able to do it if uh, Ron was actually pushed back, because because he took the turn, he actually hit maybe Captain Landy for about a quarter of her health, right? The S3 from Senya only did about 13k damage, so Landy would have lived. Uh, she would have lived that, I think. Probably would have. But yeah, wow, that was... <laughs> that was a pretty fast-paced match. That was fun. Uh, I want to use Fairy Tail some more. I feel like she has potential, right? That unbuffable, pretty nice. I just wasn't expecting, oh my god, that Senya. Very smart of him to put the Ron in the back line, by the way. That way, he would proc the Senya, right, really easily. That was good. That was very good. New Moon Luna, Knock Wall gone. That is A-OK, -okay, fine by me. DDR, great. DDR first pick. We could go... A lot of people go Laia A Tywin. Let's see what all the hype is about with this. In the World Championships, a lot of people pick Laia A Tywin whenever the opponent picked DDR, right? So we'll try this. See if it works, first of all. Again, their meta is a little bit different because their pre bans they uh, are cumulative, right? With every round, they increase more and more stuff. So. Got DDR over there. We got. Um, hmm. What are they going to pick him? He needs a ban protect slot that's kind of strong. Oh! Uh-oh. Are we going to see the Navy Captain Landy like Aroz? Ah, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to see. Absolutely disgusting. So, how do I want to approach the Navy Captain Landy DDR Aroz scenario? Dragon King Jeroen is honestly super strong here. Like, incredibly strong here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her. Because everyone on my team is a, uh, on my opponent's team is a Soul Weaver or a Knight, right? So this is Defense Breaks out the wazoo. We have eight Tywin here for Defense Breaks as well. Now, Abyssal Euphine is not good into Navy Captain Landy. However, Lone Crescent Bologna is. We can maybe go ahead and use Bologna here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up because she uh, guarantees crits. Gala I do not like, so I'm probably going to ban Gala just because I don't like her. <laughs> We're not going to let our opponents ever have Gala. And I'd rather fight Aiden, honestly. I'd rather fight Aiden here. So what do we do against the Savior Aiden? That's a really good pick on his part, by the way. But I just need I need something. Something that can hit really, really hard. Lionheart Sermia seems like she can hit really, really hard here. But is that really what we want? Uh, let's go for it. Let's go Lionheart. Let's go ahead and ban the Gala. Fight the Aiden, right? Because if Aiden counters here, Lionheart can pop. And that's all I'm looking for. Otherwise, Laia should be able to kill Aiden, like, with an S3 over time. Don't know. Well, we'll see if Aiden can actually survive in the long run. Oh, he's banning Bologna. He's fighting the Lionheart. That's really strange. Was not expecting that. Uh, Laia can give Team Imprint for HP, and Sharoon is fine on effectiveness. I think we'll give Dragon King Sharoon some more health here. We'll do this. I'm kind of afraid of my opponent um, dual attacking with Aroz and defense breaking my Sharoon, in which case the Navy Captain Landy will absolutely decimate me. Um, but I think we can just hold off and go for a dual attack here. We can try to kill the DR. There we go. Ooh, wait, hang on. Some action starting here. Lionheart's gonna proc, that's good. Okay, got a extra hit, okay, that's fine. Lionheart's gonna be uh, taking the turn next. Unless DDR tries to sleep us, but I think he's gonna just S2. Yeah, he's just gonna S2. Alright, Raz is gonna go. He's gonna just defense buff. That's a little... Okay. I understand that. I mean, Lionheart's about to come up here. So I guess what we can do is... We could go for an S3. 
I'm hoping that Aiden doesn't kill my Dragon King Sharoon. Ooh, alright, there's a counter. Okay. Oh, it's another counter. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so go for the DDR. Aiden has an attack buff now. Oh my god, that's so bad. What is happening? Okay, at least we're pushing up quite a bit with our passive Endurandal. Look at Lionheart. That's why I like her Endurandal. She's like caught up to DDR already. Oh no, this is bad. No, Dragon King Shroon is dead. Oh, Dragon King Shroon is dead. Aiden's gonna S3 and it's gonna be terrible. I can't even strip uh, his buffs anymore. Wow. Dude, these landy counters. Yeah, see, there's nothing I can do at this point, right? It's crazy. I mean, I can just rip an S3 anyway to try to stun and defense break, kind of buy myself a turn. But, oh, even then, um, Landy does counter here anyway. Can I can I hit the Aiden? Can I at least hit the Aiden? Dude, this Landy's about to have an S3. It's going to be terrible. We, we still can't hit the Aiden. This, this Aiden is the tankiest Aiden I've ever seen in my life. With the best evasion rate, this Landy... <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's over. She's invincible, so she's going to get that S3. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He drafted very well uh, from Veritas. Okay, that's probably explains why their units are pretty good. Uh, the Aiden dodged everything, which was quite unfortunate. Pretty good on him picking the Aeros there. And again, this is one of the reasons why in my uh, tier list from the last season, when I was evaluating units, I did put Aeros uh, pretty high up there. He's a pretty strong unit, especially for newer players, right? So definitely play your adventure. Get your adventure Ros if you're trying to get into RTA. He's not bad. He couples well, really well with uh, a lot of DPS units. He dual attacks with the highest attack unit on your side. Uh, so it makes him really consistent. Okay, so anyway, let's hopefully end things off on a positive note here. We can hopefully get a win. What do we have here? We have Imperial Nolanov and Bellion Band. Ooh, I think we're gonna get cleaved. In which case, in which case, I think I just uh, start with a Tywin. All right, wasn't expecting to have to fight cleavers here. But that's fine. Oh, Dragon Bride Senya, so he's probably playing Aggro or Cleave. I know, it sounds weird. You're like, but that's a knight. That's usually used for... Um, for tank down, or for tanking down, right? Standard and stuff. Nope. Nope. Dragon Bride Senya is usually used uh, in Cleaver aggro teams now. As you can tell, because I got cleaved by that one Ron player. I think this is the same person. Probably gonna have Ron uh, ban protected. So we can try the same thing, honestly, if we really wanted to. We can pick like Wrecker Rowana. We can try to ban Politus if we really want to. What do you pick? Blood Moon Haste, Gala. Oh yeah, he picked some pretty bad stuff actually. What could we go for? I think Knockwall's still okay. Knockwall Zeo is still fine. He's gonna hopefully ban Knockwall again. That would be good. So let's do this. If he picks Laia, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, maybe this isn't the same person. Hang on. Hovering over Bunny Don. That's a little. Oh, uh, no, never mind. It's the same person. I think it's the same person we lost to earlier with the Ron Senya. The Senya cleaved our team, right? So, this is okay, so far. Oh man, Sen Senya's gonna be a, a pain in the butt. Uh, what we got? Bunny Dom? We can, we can go, honestly we can still go Landy. We can still go Landy, and we just banned the Senya this time. Cause he didn't pick Gala, he picked Bunny Dom, which I don't really care about. We can go Landy. And we can also go... Is Laia too slow to ramp up? Do I need somebody else who can just dual attack or do something really strong at the start of the match? Who can really initiate a match well? Let's, let's look for something like that. Um, nothing that I really have, honestly. <laughs> if I'm banning the Senya, Fairy Tail might not be bad. Let's go Fairy Tail again. Let's do the same thing. I think this is pretty much the same draft except a Tywin switch with Laia, but now I know the Dragon Bride Senya is the problem because it's able to one-shot my Landy. Sylvan Sage Vivian is okay. I'm gonna hope that Sylvan Sage Vivian's o oh wait no hang on he ban oh no hang on this is a problem isn't it oh shoot dang it I fell for the trap if he banned Navy Captain Landy I wouldn't have enough damage to kill the Sylvan Sage but he went for this yikes. 
Knock will band again. Yeah, I, I, sh I should have I should have just stuck with my guts. I should have went with my guts here. Uh, we'll give HP to Landy and some to Zeo. I think that's fine. Keep them alive. I'm hoping this time we actually hit the Ron back. Like, him taking the turn last time cost us. Yeah, see? It's, it's probably going to cost us again here. Let's go. Let's go for it. Where is the bunny down? Oh, shoot. Is bunny down really fast as well? Oh my god, guys. No. Are you kidding me? Dude, this Ron. Wow. That, this is really bad, actually. Um, maybe not the worst. Maybe the Bunny Dom can change things, because Bunny Dom actually gives a barrier, which allows me to do this and not hit the Ron below half health. So I'm hoping this is fine. Yeah, there we go. That is actually A-OK. -okay. Wild card comes out. Don't hit the Ron below half. Nice. Very nice. Good stuff. Um, we, we can't hit the Ron anymore. So, Dragonbite Sand, she's already provoked. We're just gonna go ahead and provoke the, um, the Politus as well. Okay, yeah, everyone's gonna attack the Tywin. That is very, very nice. Good counter, good Elbrus. That's gonna kill the Ron. Now, Senya does proc. It's unfortunate that she procced here. Thankfully, we get a salvo. We get to heal up so she can't kill our Landy. Okay. Let's go for... Oh, oh, did we actually get it this time? Oh, 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 look at that, man. We got some retribution, got some revenge, and I love it. So there you guys have it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this RTA video, please leave a like and subscribe for more RTA content. And until next time, take care.